Hey guys, I'm Will from Tested. I'm Norm from Tested. Norm, what do you have for us today? I have something pretty exciting. Finally, it's here. It's the ASUS E-Pad Transformer. Ooh, this is the one with the keyboard and the, and the yes. tablet. It's well, a... it's primarily a tablet. Ooh. Android 3.1 tablet. Okay. Came out a couple months ago. Uh, we finally have one in the office. And I gotta say, I think I like this. It's very uh, thin. The first thing well, I noticed. Well, it, it's... The size is actually a little bigger. So its close okay. competitor is the Motorola Zoom. Now this is the first yeah, Honeycomb tablet a big from Android. And now it's CES. We've done a review. Um, and they're very comparable. It's actually a little, the Suits Transformer is a little wider, a little taller. Uh, but the screen is, they're both 10.1 inch screens. Okay. 1280 by 800 resolution. But the first thing I noticed, the screen on the Asus Transformer, much better than the one on Zoom. It's an IPS screen. It looks really nice. Pretty yeah. good viewing angles. It's actually still a little lighter, even though it's a little, the dimensions are bigger. Okay, that's good. 1.5 pounds as opposed to 1.6 pounds. Hmm, so it's still about the same weight as the original iPad. Original iPad, uh, definitely heavier than the iPad 2 hmm. and the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. Okay. And then 0.51 inches thick, so very comparable to the Zoom there. Internally, uh, also very similar. It's okay. 16 gigs of flash storage. Runs a dual core one gigahertz Tegra processor from NVIDIA. Does it have an ex uh, external SD card slot? It does. There's a micro SD card that actually works, unlike the oh, Zoom's nice. micro SD okay. card, which you need a software update for. Still not available yet. Wow. Um, and of course, uh, the version that we got is Android Honeycomb 3.1, not so it has 3.0 stock. The new again. browser and yep. the, the slight tweaks to Android 3.0. Yeah. So uh, it, it is running uh, some ASUS uh, extra software, if you notice. Uh, when I turn it off and on. Is the power um, button on that side, that, it that is on right the side. bezel? That's yeah, left that's bezel, right. that's kind of weird. It's, it's not on the back, at least, with the zoom. So mm. it's just holding it, hitting the power button, okay. no problem. Um, it does use the accelerometer, gyroscope, do some fancy stuff. Wide you can turn that off. It is your standard honeycomb experience. Uh, but what I really want to show you is the dock, the keyboard dock. Yeah, let's and see that. Let's I'm, actually I'm, jump right into the OS and show the dock. Well, this looks, this looks familiar, Norm. Yeah, it's just Honeycomb 3.1, like I said before. Asus didn't do too much to it. Um, actually, I'm logged in using their test account. But look in the bottom corner, the icons are just a little different. But Honeycomb, you've seen it before. There's mail. Uh, this thing, MyNet, is actually an Asus uh, storage service. Oh, like, like, a, a, like a cloud storage? Yes, cloud storage. Oh, boy. Uh, there, there's a 16 gig model and a 32 gig model. Um, uh, it has weather widgets. Weather widgets. Uh, there's the water in the background. I'm going to show the web browser really quickly. Okay. Um, 3.1 actually works really well. And you notice in the top right hand oh, they corner. they put a fat finger button. I can scroll quickly. I like Very that. Very quickly, actually. Um, I mean, understandably, this page has to re-render a little bit. Uh, but scrolling, pinching. Not bad. Not bad at all. Honeycomb has come a long way since it first debuted on the Zoom. Yeah, pretty short period of time. Okay, what else did they change with the OS on this? I know you haven't spent much time with it yet. Yeah, no, that's, that's pretty much it. It's, I mean, your, the app's on 3.1, it's easier to go. Shipping uh, with Google Music Beta, it looks like. Yep, and, um, but the cool thing is, of course, the dock. So, the tablet itself, 16 gig, it's actually $400, which is a very good price. This dock, um, which I can actually get online for about $170. Oh wow, that's a uh, lot. Turns the tablet into kind of a, a notebook netbook. Okay, so so how, how much, to, what's the total price then for the tablet with the dock? About $570. Oh, that's not too bad. And I just plugged it in. Is this running Windows in addition to? Nope, it's oh, still okay. running Android. Huh. And because Android has mouse and keyboard support, you got a mouse cursor right there. And so, uh, let's see how it types. I mean, I got Google Instance running on right now. Okay. Um, it, it's a chicle keyboard. This looks almost like a real computer at this point. Uh, almost. Um, yeah, but of course still running Android. But the dock does add, in addition to the keyboard and mouse, extra battery. So as Sue says, you get about nine hours of battery. Um, on the on the default? On, on the tablet by itself. And with the keyboard, it goes up to about 16. We'll definitely do a battery wow. rundown test. You can do that one. Yeah, so there's actually uh, USB ports on the side. Hmm. Pop open here, and I actually do like these covers because they're magnetized. Oh, cool! So they just snap back snap in back when you get close. Okay. Two USB ports, and while the tablet does have a micro SD slot, uh, with the dock you actually get a full SD slot right here, full SD card slot. Cool. So even though uh, there's only 16 gigs on the 400 dollar model, you can really just plug in uh, an SD card or even USB. USB key or USB master. So device. could you do a 32 gig micro SD card and a 32 gig SD card and have 64, 70, 80 gigabytes of storage on this you, thing? You can, you can plug a, a USB key with 64 gigs of storage That's and that will crazy. still work with NTFS. No problem whatsoever. Uh, there is also an HDMI port um, on the tablet, which I didn't mention earlier. Uh, because it's running Tigra, you can do HDMI out and uh, mirroring. Um, cool. 
So running it, I mean, using a mouse on Honeycomb, no problem. And videos actually play really well. HD trailer running perfectly fine. Hmm. And um, of course on the keyboard is a home button. So you can hit the home button, get the home screen, search button if you just want to launch Google Search. So I'm really curious to see how this operates, Honeycomb operates as a notebook slash netbook. And you know what, I actually did realize you can use multi-touch gestures oh, cool. on the trackpad. So okay. in, uh, on the home interface, you know, swipes the left, goes uh, to the different windows. And if I open the browser, you can actually do two finger scrolling. Looks really cool. So that's the Asus ePad Transformer. It's out now. Yep, you can buy it in stores or on Amazon. Uh, $400 for the 16 gig version. If you want 32 gigs, 500 bucks. The dock is around 170 bucks street price. Uh, for Tester, I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys next time. Bye. Transformer. <laughs>